How you going guys? Bones again. I'm no good at this uh, talking on a phone, let alone doing a voiceover. There's my old Bedford show van. I had it about 30 years ago. Used to do the Queensland uh, car show circuit. Uh, good party van. Plenty of room, good parties, great shag and wagon. And uh, there she is in the paddock next to a blue EH station wagon. You can't beat the station wagons. There's my LJ Tirana. Drove it from Victoria to Queensland and back. Uh, bought it for 15 and a bus. So I had two of these cars. HX station wagon. Yeah, you can't complain. You need, a, you need a car with a bed in it. Now this, I'd like to be driving around Phnom Penh, Cambodia. They call me a dirty rat. I've got a rat's tail. This is my own perfect car. Forget about your bloody Lamborghinis. Bentleys, Ferraris, and all that crap. These are the cars you want. Oh damn, there she is. I was wondering where the wife was. I've left her in the car too long. Oh well, she'll be all good when she gets home. Oh well, as I say a bit later in the video, I had a complaint against YouTube well, I've had to remake this video and take out the music that was in the background. Uh, it was on stage with the MC talking, telling about food stalls, uh, trading stalls, about the cars, what was going on during the day. But yeah, YouTube uh, decided to block the video, so I had to do it again. Uh, I'm sick of this copyright crap. What annoys me is anyone can walk into a car yard these days, buy a Mustang, Corvette, Bentley, whatever you want to call it. But what is good about these cars is they're old school. They're not bought off the showroom. They're built out of heart, love and soul. Yeah. Why would you want a Ferrari when you can have cars like these? What a waste of money. I can remember my first drive in one of these Tiranas. He took off and I was just thrown back into the seat with that much power. Here's a matching Tirana, just like my little blue one. I wish I had those old cars sitting in the shed. They'd be worth a fortune today, like all these ones are. The new cars of today, you can walk in and buy out of a car room. And where are they gonna be in 20 years? On the scrap heap. 
Yeah, sorry guys, I don't know what happened to the sand that was in the background at the car show. But um, while I'm at it, I got a complaint. I paid two grand, uh, maybe a little bit more for this iPhone 13 Pro Max. Comes with iMovie, which you can add these little bits of uh, snippet tunes to your videos, which aren't that good. But that's what I'm using. And then when I post them to YouTube, I get copyright infringement. When you complain once, they review it, blah, blah, blah. And then if you have to review it a second time, they have the right to take your video down. I paid two grand for this goddamn phone. And all the apps that I use to edit my videos, not that they're that good, but I'm getting there. I pay for my apps, which come with music too, and I still get copyright infringements. Man, AI is going to take over. I feel sorry for you kids in the future with AI. You ain't going to know nothing. You ain't even going to experience life or the world. Uh, like I said before, anyone can walk in and buy one of these cars today. It just takes a little bit of cash. It doesn't deserve to be in a car show yet. When it's about 60 years old, if it's still around, and hasn't rusted out and fallen apart because it's a Ford, yeah, maybe then put it in a car show.